Always draw a triangle of the situation that you're dealing with. Um, the 340 feet you told me was um, the lower leg of the right triangle. Angle of elevation. We talked about that briefly. Angle of elevation. If, if I'm down here at the bottom, angle of elevation is this part right here. Okay? Angle of elevation. Do not, do not be the kid that thinks that this is the angle of elevation. Okay, because you're going to mess this problem up if you do that. <clears throat> okay, where do we usually measure angles from? Okay, let's say this was a tree, not a building. Let's just make it a tree. Okay, we wanted to know the height of the tree. Would we measure the angle from the ground up to the top of the tree? Would that be easier? Or would it be easier to climb to the highest branch of the tree? Look down. Shoot it with a laser. Right? And measure that angle right there. Which one would be easier? Now, I understand with the building, we have the ability to climb to the top of a building, usually with a set of stairs, maybe an elevator, that kind of thing, right? We can walk out to the edge like complete morons. Okay, I couldn't handle it. Maybe some of you can. Um, it would be a lot easier for most of us if we measure from the ground up. Okay, But I get a lot of students who think that that red angle is called the angle of elevation. Well, they messed the whole problem up right there just because they picked the wrong angle. So, don't be like that kid. All right. Angle of elevation, measured from the horizontal up. Now, if we had labeled this angle of depression, That phrase could be used. That would be measuring from the horizontal down. That right there is called angle of depression. Uh, so if you get a plane, you know, you're flying in an airplane, helicopter, something like that, they start talking about the angle of depression. Okay, The pilot's looking straight out of the cockpit and measures that angle down to the runway or the airport. That's angle of depression. From horizontal down. Everything's from horizontal down or horizontal up. Yep. That's the angle. Yeah, go ahead. Put the block in and then kick back out when you get back. When you get back. What was that angle in the top right? How it's called? Uh, it doesn't really have a cool name. However, I do want to point something out to you. Because you should remember this from geometry class. We could draw the same exact triangle, couldn't we? Like that. What do you know about this angle right here, which would be the angle of depression, and the angle of elevation from the bottom triangle? They're equal to each other. And what kind of angles are they? Don't, don't just say congruent. I got that part. Come on, give me the cool term. I'll give you a hint. It's not corresponding. Not vertical. Supplementary, no. Good try. Come on. We got these two parallel lines and this cool transversal cutting right through. Two parallel lines. Sorry, remember. Are they in two? Are they interior or exterior? They are interior. Does that ring a bell? Oh. Are they?
they on the same side of the transversal? Or are they on, are they on alternate sides? Alternate, 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 alternate interior angles. angles. Thank you very much. <laughs> We're remembering our geometry. Okay. So, now, that did not answer your question. Your question was, is there a name for this cool angle up here? My answer is no, there's no cool. But that one right there matches this one right here. So then the one uh, that just made the angle from the top that you just made, the other opposite uh, interior angle, that would be the angle of depression from the top right. This? How about that? This one would be angle of depression, okay. yes. Okay. Because it's measured from the horizontal down. Which is completely okay for standing at the top of a building. It is not going to matter whether I use the blue triangle or the red triangle because I can still find this side of the triangle. Now, what else did they give me? They said the angle of elevation to the top of the building is 65 degrees. Okay, you need to pick a one of the trig functions, sine, cosine, or tangent in order to find the length of the side x. Tangent. tangent. Excellent choice. It's the tangent of 65. We have, or we are looking for the opposite. We have the adjacent. What do we have here, folks? A proportion. How do we solve proportions? We cross multiply. And I know for those of you who are going to say, well, it just multiply by 340. It's true in this particular example, but I'm trying to program your brains. Someday soon, that, that, that whole proportion is going to look a little bit different. And there are going to be people making mistakes unless they realize it's just a proportion. What mode should your calculator be in so you don't make a mistake? Ah, degree. Yes, yes. Never let them see you sweat. Oh, that, no, that's that's right guard. Sorry. Does right guard even exist anymore? Is that deodorant still out there on the market? What? Right guard? That's like real old school stuff. I have to check on that one. Okay, still got that. What'd you get? 729.1 is good enough. And we are in feet. That's true. Uh, I don't. For those of you wondering, I'm not going to get hung up on units. Okay, you're not going to lose credit if you don't have the right units. Now I'm hoping you realize it's in feet. Okay, not miles. Okay, I really seriously do because um, uh, if not, I would be very concerned about you. You know. Okay, so what, uh, which uh, homework questions? Let me turn on my other writing tool so I can continue recording and still use the Zoom feature. Okay, any of these homework problems from 4-2 that you need me to go over with you? Something you've been working on this weekend? I hope you have. Now would be a good time to throw something at me. Sure. Yeah, I can help with 4-1. Sure, you want me to... Do you want me to record it, go back, or do you want me to answer a quick question on yours? Uh, sure. Okay. Let me open my 4-1 up. Question 31. Use the appropriate arc length formula to find the missing information. Okay. So, um, we have the length of the arc. We do not know theta. And we are talking... Oh, we do know theta. What am I talking about? I can't read. Okay, theta is 20. And we do not know the radius. 
Uh, anybody know what we should use for the denominator there? 360 is an excellent choice since it's in degrees. Yeah, see, right there they told me it was going to be 360. Yep, part over whole times 2 pi r. I'm just curious how people solved it, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, can we reduce this at all? Oh, yeah? Okay, has, it, has anybody ever done this trick before? Now, what did I just do? Don't tell me I canceled out the zeros. I mean, don't you dare tell me that. Divided by 10. Thank you so much. I appreciate you that you said divide by 10. Okay, next. 2 goes into 36 how many times? 18. Okay, so now we've got 2 pi r over 18 equals 40. Any more reducing? Yeah, what else? Nine times? Okay. What should we multiply both sides by? Nine over what? Right now, folks, you have pi r over nine equals 40. What should we multiply both sides by? Nine over what? Nine over pi. Of course, the pi's are going to cancel, and the 9's are going to cancel, leaving me R by itself. That's cool. What do we get over here? Just give me a fraction. Don't give me a nasty decimal. Just give me a fraction. 360 over pi. Woo! Man. You know what I get a lot of? 360 over 40 pi. This is what I get a lot of. Now, don't write that down, because that's wrong. Now, tell me what that kid did. What did the kid do that we, or 360 over 40 pi? They multiplied the top and the bottom by 40. What is 40 divided by 40? 1. That is not what you wanted. So, if you're going to do that, you just completely change the value of the problem. Just remember, that's why, you know, I know it seems dumb when I do things like this, 40 over 1, and I ask you guys, do you remember that that's a 1 under there? I know it seems dumb that I'm asking that question, but time and time again, I get kids that are doing that, even at this level, I want to make sure you don't lose credit. Okay, so that's why I ask simple questions like that, so that we remember those things. Multiply across the top, across the bottom. I know some of you have your multiplication of fractions down pretty well, but those mistakes happen. Okay, was that, was that all you needed on yeah. that one? Okay. Alrighty. Any 4-2? Any homework questions on 4-2 that you were stuck on? Now's a great time to ask me. So that means either A, you guys know how to do everything in section 4.2, or B, you didn't do anything this weekend. You're in one of those two categories. <laughs> Please tell me you're all in the first one. <sighs> now, I do realize I give you flexibility in assignments because you get too busy at certain times of your life. Just don't make it a regular habit if you're behind right now. Um, it will uh, get you in the end. Anything? Any homework sections? Or any pro homework problems you want me to go over? I guess I could just give you the time, and then if you, I'll walk around the room and answer questions for you. <laughs>